What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual back with another banger today guys on the review of the Jordan 4 Tote Haze. Guys, we finally got the review out of the upcoming Jordan 4 Taupe Haze. Set to release on February 27th. Originally supposed to release, I think, was it earlier? I think it was like early this year or late in January. The shoe itself got pushed back way until the end of this month, which is not that far now. But when I originally picked the shoe up, it was releasing in a couple of weeks and then since then got pushed back. The Taupe Haze is the name of this colorway. And overall, the shoe itself is quite unique. On the actual box, you have Taupe Haze slash Infrared 23. Retail is $200, and uh, let's figure out why. One thing about the rip, you can see that you have this special different box that has some sort of speckles going on throughout that. It's actually textured. All this is all textured. You can actually feel each and every single one of the little speckles going on on the actual box. The letters himself is pretty flat for the most part. The Infrared 23, a color that we've known to grow and love for quite some time. And we've loved Infrared in general, but the Infrared 23 name has been seen on various shoes of the past. The Infrared 23 6s, which were the, the Jordan 6 that was just completely infraredded out with the black midsole. And you got the also white and infrared, just, you know, white infrared the classics. And now we have these on some fours. And as you can see, the infrared on the bottom sole. You can also see the infrared right here on the tongue and on the inside. The inside sports a infrared sole with a black jump man. The upper is of a suede in a hard cracked leather. Cracked old, like an old man's nut sacks without a cup of lotion. It needs lotion, bro. It needs lotion when rocking this shoe. Now, the shoe itself is quite unique for the fact that supposedly, and I guess you could say, not so, I mean, I guess it's more so a factual now because I've seen pictures. All that cracked stuff that you see going on around the shoe, all that cracked leather can be scratched off or rubbed off and would reveal a shiny, sparkly type of material underneath it, which I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really a fan of. Like, I would have loved this shoe just to have been all up suede and just left it at that. That cracked leather kind of throws me off a lot about this shoe in general. Like... I'm not gonna lie, when I first got it, I liked it a lot. And since then, just looking at it, I've kind of been on the seesaw effect, whether or not it's a shoe that I'm gonna wanna end up you know, keeping. I'm just gonna be 1,000 with you. At the same time, I can, I, I feel like I can look past it. I feel like I can look past the cracked leather going on, but at the same time, I just don't know why. Like Jordan Brand, once again, just messing something up that was already nice as is. We know this brown colorway kind of to resemble that of the Travis Scott 4 that has yet set to release. We don't know if it's going to release or if it was a friends and family. There's a set of a, the baby blue Travis Scott's that we got, the purple ones, and then these brown ones that we, well, not necessarily these brown ones, but a pair of brown ones that are also a part of the Cactus Jack collab with the Jordan brand. Now, if we never get it, this definitely will be the closest thing to it. I do see these being somewhat of a problem, somewhat hard to get because of that. A lot of the hype beasts out there are kind of attracted to this model because it resembles a lot of that colorway. Then you got the special box. You got some just a different colorway in general when it comes to four. So I'm expecting these to uh, do some numbers. Let's check the inside of the box out just so you can see it. I don't know what it is about it, why this box or why this shoe has a different box compared to previous ones. You know, it's like some some shoes they just pick and choose. Here's the actual label itself: eight and a half topes. The retail right there, two hundred dollars. Like I said, I don't know what made them say, "Hey, man, for this Jordan Four, we're gonna make this. We're gonna, we're gonna make a different box." It's just like do they just pick and choose this? Like, I'm just confused. The cracked leather goes around the toe box or the the actual you know toe wrap around the back anklet as well as the tongue. The tongue also features that cracked leather going on around the shoe. And like I stated before, if you scratch it, if I can find some pictures, I'll post it. But supposedly if you scratch the hell out of this thing, there will be glitter showing. Remember, or not remember, because it's still going on. It's funny that the Jordan 1s have glitter, right? 
if you let them sit for too long. I actually got some pair of Jordan ones now that have that glitter going on. And we hate the glitter. Well, Jordan Brand took the glitter and put it on a pair of fours. That's how the glitter look. It looks like the glitter is on the ones. And you can even see like close up. You can even see like some of the sparkle going on. Let's be 100, right? Let's just be 100. I love, I love to know in the comment section, if you can, if you wasn't gonna comment anything, please just comment this at least. Does that throw you off? Is that a, I, got, I, got, I guess I got like a two, 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 three part question. Number one, do you like the, no, nobody, a lot of people aren't gonna like it. What I'm trying to say is, cause a lot of y'all are gonna get the shoe, I feel like. I'm curious to know, damn, I don't know how I wanna ask this question. First and foremost, does, does this turn you off? Does the cracked leather turn you off? And then two, since the cracked leather doesn't or does turn you off, did it stop you from buying the shoe? So for instance, for me, if I end up keeping this, I would say that the cracked leather turns me off, but it didn't stop me from buying the shoe. Some of y'all will say, the cracked leather doesn't turn you off, I still didn't want the shoe. It was ugly regardless. The cracked leather does turn me off, it, it did make me not want to buy the shoe. So that's, that's what I'm trying to ask. How do you feel about that cracked leather, you know what I'm saying, and did it make you not want to buy the shoe? Also, just feel free to let me know, like, do y'all, does it not bother you at all? Like, I don't care for it. It's, I, I love I love the shoe. It's dope. I actually liked it. It made the shoe even more awesome. I would love to hear that down below in the comment section. But besides that, man, I mean, the shoe itself is it's quite unique, man. I can't really complain. It's something different. I just not, I'm just not a, that much of a fan of that cracked, weird type of material. I, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it peeling off and, and being all shiny and sparkly. I want the shoe to be as is. And I, I rather it just be all over suede. But to each his own, those are the pros and the cons. Me personally, I may end up keeping these for quite some time. It's just whether or not I'm gonna actually wear it at this point. And I don't have that many brown colors, like brown co colored shoes. So adding this to the collection is not a problem. It's actually something that I may wanna add. So it's a battle that I gotta deal with on my own. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section of what you think about these, if it's a cop or not. And uh, yeah, we'll go off that, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one, man. It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. We're going to end you guys off with an on foot. Peace.